Real Corp, please. Thank you. While pilot Fraser Conway holds her steady, aerial just, Why is he eating the convict, though? Like, he's been fed. Photographing an area the size of oh, my D. Oh, my God. As they cover the 200,000 square kilometers of Great Britain. He's, uh, he's so convulsing. They fly for up to 10 hours without a break. It's a long day. Very long. If I do need a wee on board the aircraft, it's this little thing. Until the late 20th century, maps were drawn by hand. These days, it's it could be dead now. These cameras. And the OS master database calls for a bit more than a point and a click. Okay, just behind me, that's a white unit there. Right, R2D2 looking uh, robot thing. This R2D2 lookalike can capture over 450 megapixels per image. Over 37 times more than the swankiest smartphone. And by flying along pre programmed lines, the team knows where each photo was taken. Well, we sure. Oh my, oh my god. The photographs, uh, the way we take them, they all overlap. I think it's overlap and the photographs. Uh, across the entire, uh, that convict is a fire! Imaging is just one piece of the 3D puzzle. From up here, Roger can get the big picture. But the detail is back Will on the phone. Hold up on TikTok. Uh, YouTube. You know, you can be recorded then. I record stuff for reasons. OS surveyor Paul Hilton won't miss the finest detail. I would say I know my pack better than anyone else. I'll know if anything from a plane or It's already been two minutes. He takes readings every few meters with a GPS scan to triangulate its position using satellites. It's accurate to within 15 millimeters. Yes. Today, Paul scans the grounds of a new hotel and beams the data back to HQ. This information Come on, convert. with the aerial photography is helping build a view out of his mouth. Mouth, I'll feed you daily. <laughs> I'll feed you back to Oscar. This picture is still a little two dimensional. Surveyor Mark Cuthbert has the answer a piece of cutting edge kit costing £40,000. This is a laser scanner. I just tend to call it scanner. It basically collects 26,600 points uh, a second. Very rapid. Over 9 million points on the University of Manchester's Whitworth building. Convict has to be dead now. Fight, fight, are fight. by rebounding lasers between the scanner and the solid structure, enabling the creation I'm watching the film, of a millimetre perfect. Same. Is he using my phone? What? Is he using my phone? I'm watching your thing. I'm watching what you're recording. So back at base, remote sensing scientist Hannah Hunt employs a powerful computer to transform Trevor's into a fully realised 3D world. All of these points. Uh, what are you convulsing for? Hannah uses the aerial imagery captured by Roger Dodd. Oh shit, it's not in that, could have been me. Huh? Oh shit, it's not in that, could have been me. Imagine imagery, and you trace the pixel colours over the top. And as a result, you get this really nice looking 3D model. The 3D project is ongoing, but this tech is already in our hands. I might just keep this going until he follows. <laughs> The Ordnance Survey's work is never done, because the world is always changing. Come on, one more. Miss it. Isn't that right, Trevor? Like, how is he even clinging on to that? In the fight for health yeah, and safety, the gloves are Do they? definitely gone. The gloves are essential equipment. So you're so... To, like, to, heart, like, just to uh, find her threatening. Like, Cooper just... They're too far. Not hit hidden. Not hidden. Mm -hmm. Not hidden. 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 Not hidden.
Like, do you mind not going down? Because I can't see. I thought you know. Surgeons William Halstead used gloves to protect his nurse Caroline's hands from harsh antiseptics. In a happy Five minutes, operations with gloves saw infection rates drop until something happens. You're a little monster. Go away. Why? You're a killing machine. You're a killing machine, Rev. You killed a fish. Another one. Another. Then Jack. But chill. Okay, I'm not going to sit my hand on it. Hello. You're a little monster, you are. 